Hi, um, this is Bob Elpers, St. John's Golf Coach, and here to talk about uh, our upcoming week and, and uh, what, what happened last week. Last week was a great weekend for us. Uh, we sent our second team, our blue team, went to the McAllister Invitational. Uh, it was a, a good field. Uh, a number of schools from our from our conference were there playing, and, and uh, our, our guys played really great. Our team consisted of a couple of freshmen, a couple of sophomores, and a junior, and we competed uh, really well with the with, uh, rest of the varsity schools in our, in our conference. The team came in third, and we were led by freshman Dominic Tadora. He came in fourth overall at the McAllister Tournament, one over par, I think, uh, 145, played great. Uh, also, Andy Stallman came in ninth at the tournament, so we had two kids in the top ten, which was, which was terrific. The tournament was uh, last Saturday, Sunday at Victory Links in Blaine. Our varsity went to uh, the Eau Claire tournament last weekend, which was supposed to be at the Eau Claire Country Club, but the Eau Claire Country Club was flooded, unprecedented high water levels. So uh, we were flying as we go. I give great credit to the Eau Claire coach, Jim McGuire, to uh, kind of wing it and uh, find us some golf courses on the fly. And we ended up playing a couple of really neat golf courses. We played Wild Ridge, uh, which is a lot like Greystone up here in Sauk Center. And uh, it's a great layout. It's a great golf course, tough golf course, about 7,000 yards and, and a link style course. And uh, for not seeing the golf course, the kids played great. We shot 302 the first day, and uh, we were tied for second, two strokes behind Stout, tied with Gustavus. But uh, the second round was at New Richmond Country Club, another course we hadn't seen before. And uh, but the guys we're playing better, and it's really exciting to see the guys getting better every every time out, every 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 round they're getting better and tougher. And we went to New Richmond Country Club, and our guys played really well for uh, uh, the group. Uh, our team score was only one, one over par, 289, and we ended up uh, uh, winning the. Uh, Eau Claire Invitational, which is again a really good tournament, a tough field. A lot of top teams from the region were uh, were there, and we were led by Dennis Granath uh, from Bondhagen, Sweden. Dennis uh, was the tournament medalist and also the MIC Player of the Week. Dennis shot a one under par, 143 total, and uh, we also have Mark Georgie came in third. Um, Tony Krogan tied for seventh, and Alex Claire tied for tenth. So out of the four guys, or out of the five guys, four of them were uh, were in the top ten. And our freshman Casey Vanks is he grinded and played awful tough too and I think he, he was also in the top 20 so you know there's good balance and that's what we pride ourselves on that's what we think our, our, our group has is good balance uh, and those are the five that will represent us this week as we head to Bunker Hills for the MIC uh, uh, golf tournament. Um, I heard there's a couple other events going on uh, at St. John's over this weekend um, uh, just got an uh, email about something I think um, soccer's got a home game four o'clock uh, against Carlton. And uh, I think maybe there's, I think there might be some football uh, this weekend too. But uh, this big one, uh, the MIC tournament, all the teams come giving it their best uh, besides the individual uh, or the team honors where the team that wins gets the automatic qualif uh, qualifier for uh, um, the national tournament. And that'll be uh, in Greensboro, North Carolina. And uh, that's when we determine our all-conference team. Top 10 kids are all-conference. I think our guys are playing pretty good. I think they're very excited to go. Here's one of the guys, and he looks very excited. Don't this is Tony Krogan. Tony Krogan was the medalist last year at the MIC tournament. And uh, Tony Krogan, he's a nice guy. He has an affinity for hockey garb. I don't know if you noticed that. But uh, he's got his Blackhawk sweatshirt and his Bauer uh, thing. And Tony was very, he's, he's having a tough time with things right now because I know that we'd heard that the NHL season was going to be discontinued. But uh, there's nothing Tony likes more than an exhibition uh, wild game that ends in a shootout. Now that's, that's some quality viewing. And Tony was very excited about that, So, although we came up on the short end of that stick. So hope you have a great weekend. If you come up here, please be safe. Uh, watch out for the boneheads because God knows they come up for this one. And um, hopefully we'll have a nice uh, chance to talk next week. Thanks. Bye.